In this video, I'm going to show you how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions and including mixed number. So this is a mixed number. First question is 1 and 2 fifth plus 2 and 1 fifth. So before we start, uh, you should know 1 2 fifth is a mixed number. This means this is 1 plus 2 fifth. Okay. And if it is a 2 and 1 fifth, means the same logic. This is two whole and a fifth. So this is nothing but two plus one fifth. Okay, so using this information, I can write this question as, I'm going to write this as expanding this. So this is one plus two fifth plus two plus one fifth. So let me group the whole numbers together and the fractions together. So the whole number is 1 plus 2 plus 2 fifth plus 1 fifth. So this is nothing but. So let me add the whole numbers first and then the fractions. So this is adding this whole number. So this is one group and this is the other group. So this is 1 plus 2 is simple, that is 3. And 2 fifth plus 1 fifth is 3 fifth. So this is a whole number and this is a proper fraction. This you write as a mixed number as 3 whole 3 fifth, just like that. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, let us do one more question. 3 and 1 eighth take away. 2 and 1 ninth. So let me write, do the same strategy. So this is 3, this is 3 plus 1 eighth minus 1 plus 2 ninths. So if you expand it, so this is nothing but 3 plus 1 eighth take away 1, take away 2 ninths. Okay, you're taking away both of them. So you're taking away one and taking away two nine. So let us group the whole numbers together. So this is three, take away one. Uh, that is of course, how much? Three, take away one. So now let me rewrite this properly. I don't like this way of doing it. So this is three, take away one, plus one eight, take away two nine. I've just regrouped, I've taken, I have grouped this three with take away one, and then I have grouped one eight, take away two ninth. Okay, so now this is one group, three take away one is one group, and one eight take away two ninth. Okay, so this is three take away one is of course, that is pretty easy, that is, so let me use a brown color. So this is two plus. Now you've got fractions. Now to make, to take away fractions, the first thing that you need to do is you have to make the denominators equal. So the common denominator is eight times nine. I'll first write eight times nine. Eight times nine is 72. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make both the denominators 72. So how can I make it? So let me use a different color. So I'm going to multiply this by 9. So if I multiply the denominator by 9, I have to multiply the numerator by 9. And here I'm going to multiply by 8. Okay, so what will happen? So this is, this is 9 out of 72. 9 out of 72 minus 16 out of 72. This is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, so let us keep working. I want to finish it here. So this is equal to 2 plus 9 minus 16 over 72. Okay, so this is, uh, what is 9 minus 16? So 9 minus 16 is negative 7. So this is 2 minus, okay, 2 plus, 9 take away 16, okay? 
uh, what is 16 take away 9 is 7 so 16 take away 9 is 7 so 9 take away 16 is negative 7 so negative 7 over 72 okay so this is a bit tricky I, I thought we could have finished it here so I'll finish it here so this is writing this is 2 over 1 this is same as writing this is 2 over 1 you're adding a negative means you're taking away 7 over 72 okay so now I want to make the bottom number 72 so I'm going to multiply this 1 by 72 I'm going to multiply 1 by 72 to make the denominator 72 so it also multiply the top number by 72 so this is nothing but 144 over 72 minus 7 out of 72 this is I didn't think it was so lengthy so one this is nothing but 144 take away 7 over 72 so this is uh, 144 take away 7 is 137 am I right 137 over 72 so how will I check 137 plus 7 is 144 okay we're almost there so this is equal to now you have to change this into mixed number so this is 72 72 goes how many times in 137 72 times 2 so I know 72 times 2 72 times 1 is 72 and 72 times 2 is is 144 so that is too much so 72 times 1 is 72 and what's the remainder so I will go I 137 take away 72 so this is 5 and 13 take away 7 is 6 so this was a very lengthy example one whole 65 over 72 hopefully I have not done any silly mistake okay so let me finish off with a few more examples simple examples you're multiplying fractions it's very easy you multiply the top numbers so this is nothing but 2 times 3 over 5 times 7 which is 6 over 35 so it's 2 third of 3 seventh is 6 out of 35 okay this is I want to change this into mixed number so first sorry this is a mixed number I want to change this into a fraction or prop improper fraction one and three halves is one and one half is three halves so this is three halves times three out of seven so multiplying fractions is simple what you do is you multiply the top number and multiply the bottom number so this is three times three which is the numerator and this is your denominator simply multiply them which is 9 out of 14 this is 9 out of 14 just like that okay and I think this is the last question 8 divided by 2 fifth in my previous video I explained you can think about this uh, you're dividing 8 into 2 fifths okay so you can draw a pi 8 pi's and divide into how many fifths or two fifths so I'm going to change this question like this this is 8 over 1 times 5 over 2 8 over 1 times so this division sign changes to multiplication sign and this will become the reciprocal so these are the two changes that should happen where if this division becomes multiplication the number that is coming after the change should become the reciprocal so this should become reciprocal so which is nothing but 8 times 5 over 1 times 2 which is 40 divided by 2 which is 20 so in other words when you divide 8 into 2 fifths there will be 20 lots of 2 fifths okay so uh, how will you check this is 20 times 2 fifth 
would be so how will you check so this is how you can check your answer this is how you can check 20 times 2 fifth okay 20 times 2 fifth is 40 over 5 which is 8 now you may wonder how can I do this suppose you have a simple example like the 16 divided by 2 we know is 8 how can I check because 2 or 8 times 2 or 2 times 8 whichever way you do because 8 times 2 is 16 this is how you check a division if you want to check a division you do multiplication and get and you can check your answer okay